my name is Katia, and um, I'm a student at Fordham University in New York City. I study economics, but I'm originally from Siberia. I lived there for 14 years, and then I started moving around. My I studied uh, finance in um, in Switzerland and Geneva at a European University, and then I came to um, to, to New York to study at Fordham. My name is Eduardo Moras Naran. I'm 24 years old. I'm Peruvian from Lima, from Lima, Peru, South America. Uh, I studied uh, law at, in the oldest uh, university in Lima. Well, actually, the oldest university all around America, which is the university, Universidad Nacional Mayor de San Marcos. I have to say it in Spanish because I can't uh, translate it. Uh, which was founded more than uh, 456 years ago. My name is Radha Gordon. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. I am a law student at Georgia State University. I heard about the Independent Institute because I have done some volunteer work with Foundation for Economic Education, so um, they kind of preferred me just through the grapevine, some people in common. So I applied to the summer opportunity, and I've never been to California, so I figured great opportunity to go and learn something at the same time. My name is Ellen Scully. I'm a rising senior at Colorado College. I'm an economics and political science double major, and I heard about the Independent Institute from a professor of mine who introduced me to a realm of free market ideas that are not even discussed in the current Republican, Democrat, black and white, uh, political sphere and so I came out to California to hear some new ideas you know some philosophy economics politics and hang out with people that you know think this is fun and exciting and there's a lot of good changes that could be made opposed to a daunting unpleasant uh, task so part of the cool part about you know conferences like the Independent Institute's conference here is that the turnout of people is so diverse. It's not what you would expect. It's not just a bunch of nerds sitting inside. We have people from all over the world, people with all types of interests. The reason that I'm here is, is because I, I like liberty. I like freedoms, free markets. I like discussing with people of all around the world. This is not my first experience in, in, in conference or events like this, but I, I think that Independent Institute in in, their, in its many years of existence has do it well uh, fomenting uh, the spread of ideas about liberty. Um, I was working in Guatemala on a project at a University Francesco Marquen and some people who I worked with uh, they attended this um, event last year they told me about it and I got really excited so it was my reason to apply and every topic that we talk about here is so interesting for me especially today was Austrian economics. A lot of my classmates studied economics in college, then decided that law was a better way to go, and don't really see a way of mixing the two. Others I know just don't really seem to have any interest in learning outside of school. You know, so it's summer, I want to go to the pool. Peruvian law don't get along well with Austrian school but I'm trying to perform a, a, a nice thing to, to, to improve the quality of markets in Peru, the, 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 the quality of freedom of people, because sometimes they, 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 there is not uh, enough uh, uh, ent entrepreneurship um, spirit. I try to mix economics and law because economics is interesting to me. I've always heard economics is everything. Economics describes like everything you could ever want to do in a society or are trying to do in a society. So I think mixing law and economics would provide some kind of objective level where there are things that I as an individual may want to see in society, but I can't make that happen single-handedly. I can't force other people to act a certain way, whether through the law or through regulations or that kind of thing. So it's possible to create a society in which people are free to do whatever they want to do and other people's rights aren't violated. So hopefully law and economics will take me to a place where I can do that and communicate those ideas to other people as well. 
I really enjoyed Yvonne, uh, Hillsdale professor's lecture this morning, and he made a point that I had never heard before. He was basically saying that, you know, having a lot of money doesn't is not proof that you were greedy in business, but that you were providing services that a lot of people wanted. Because at the end of the day, you know, business comes down to voluntary transactions. And so the more money you've obtained, the more profit you've made, theoretically, you know, the more people you've pleased, the more services you've offered that other people have found desirable. And that was a really neat take on you know, a common, a common topic. And I think, you know, coming to conferences like the Independent Institute's conference here, it, you learn just new takes on everyday topics. And I think that is really neat. And that was one thing I heard this morning that I really enjoyed, just kind of, you know, seeing things from a new perspective, uh, new analogies, new metaphors, uh, and trying to make, you know, just constantly trying to see the same old things from, you know, new perspectives. Mm -hmm. I'd say come here, study, and meet a lot of interesting people. That is very important from everywhere in the world. We have, I don't know how many countries we have here, but a lot. And not just countries, but other states. Networking is very, very important. And then you have coffee breaks, or you have lunches, dinners, and then you talk about it, and you hear other opinions. And that, that is one of the main reasons why I go to events like this. What are you about? What do you like to do? What's... Uh, I am really interested in um, in econometrics, so that's what I like do doing, and I've been doing it for a little bit. And then uh, I also like analysis. But the fun stuff, I do a lot of things. I rock climb, I make vegan sushi, and uh, cook a lot. <laughs> Just hang out with my friends, hike. I'm a huge skier, outdoors person. I like movies, all movies. Uh, Chaplin, uh, Hitchcock, uh, or um, many movies in different languages, not in my Spanish. Shopping, love <laughs> shoes. I like those red shoes you had. <laughs> Thank you, love shoes, yeah. My hardest decision in packing was figuring out which pair of shoes to bring or not bring. Yeah.